Good morning. Uh, it's been a while since we've just gone to Magic Kingdom for no particular reason. So today is the day we go to, where is it? There it is. <laughs> we go to Magic Kingdom for no particular reason other than to go to Magic Kingdom. Let's ride some rides. Welcome to the Magic Kingdom. The colors today are absolutely ridiculous. Like, look at how blue the sky is. I don't know what's going on with the firehouse, but it's underneath plain brown scrim. That's pretty uncommon here in the Magic Kingdom. Usually they theme it to look like the building that they're covering up. A perfect example of that is the Crystal Arts building here. Also, it's pretty windy today, so he doesn't have very many balloons. Usually they have a ton more than that. Getting paint the night vibes right now. How can you sleep with all of this racket going on? I always found people napping at the Magic Kingdom an interesting phenomenon because you're at the Magic Kingdom. It's an exciting theme park. Why are you napping? So as we head out of Tomorrowland Terrace restaurant, you guys can see the castle right over there. We are passing by a purple wall. And this purple wall is a very popular Instagram spot, but they have just painted a new design onto it to kind of enhance it, which I kind of like a lot. It's pretty neat looking. And then it fades into this like light blue wall, almost white. One of the other recently painted walls and I know this is like a wall painting vlog. <laughs> One of the other recently painted vlogs is over here by Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor. I like this design a lot and you can probably get some Instagram pictures over there too. But that design is based off of this, the people mover railing. I was thinking that today was going to be a slow day because other parks are slow right now and I was thinking maybe spring break is over. But this line is just for the people mover and it looks so long. Man oh man, Cosmic Rays is under some construction. I was starting to think maybe this would be a slow time of year. But I'm really 100% believing there are no more slow times of the year. Whee! I wonder if this has something to do with Hollywood Studios not having very many rides, so people are avoiding that park and coming over to Magic Kingdom more. Under the Sea, Journey of the Little Mermaid, just a 10 minute wait. Yeah, that's your favorite of life. Why do you think I'm doing very well, very well? I don't trust these lobsters, but I do trust these turtles. I'm okay with the conga dancing fish. <laughs> I know that I ride that ride basically every time we come to Magic Kingdom, but I like it. It's fun. It's easy to ride. Now, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but Millennial Pink is a big trend here at Disney right now. They've got ears, they've got sweatshirts. They also have a Millennial Pink shake right now. So you could wear all your Millennial Pink stuff and take an Instagram shot. It's pretty interesting. I'm back over here in Tomorrowland and there's a little bit of art here from a janitor that came out here and painted it with some water. You can kind of make out who it was. Mickey and maybe Goofy, maybe Pluto and Donald. So far I've only gotten one fast pass and that's for pirates because I wanted to see the new redhead scene again. And it's for right now, let's go do pirates. We'll see what happens afterwards. Maybe I'll be able to get another one after this fast pass. <laughs>
could honestly sit there all day and listen to that. But we won't. We've got pirates to ride. Or wait, but a ride that it involves pirates to ride. Yarg, let's go say Yarg to the pirates of the Caribbean. Somebody's not having a fun ride. I mean, your rum is on fire. That can't be good. So that ride begs the question, is there a ride that you were scared of as a child or that your child is scared of that you had no idea they were gonna be absolutely terrified on? Like these people brought their son or grandson or whatever on Pirates of the Caribbean thinking, this is a nice, calm boat ride. He's gonna love this. Second they, that we started moving, he hated it. Crying the whole time. Uh, I don't, I can't think of one for me. I do know that the very first time I ever went to Typhoon Lagoon as a kid, I was scared of the wave pool. I'm a very good swimmer too. And I was, I've always been a very good swimmer. I was scared because whenever I would stand still, after a wave came and it started pulling the water back out, felt like I couldn't move, so I would always cry for my parents, and they would come and get me out of the wave pool. I don't know. And then maybe like, you know, Big Thunder and stuff like that. Before I started riding roller coasters, like my very first time, of course I was scared of roller coasters, but uh, I rode it and then I wasn't scared anymore. I don't know, what ride were you scared of or are your kids scared of that you didn't think they would be scared of? Fireworks. People are starting to line up for the three o'clock parade too. Big Al. Who's he pointing at? Not at me, he was pointing at her. There's Mary, meeting and greeting. Well, we were able to get one more fast pass for uh, Pooh, so that's pretty good. Like we've ridden three rides, I feel fulfilled. Well, I got here a lot faster than I thought I would. I still got five minutes. When I say five minutes, I mean five minutes until my grace period. We did it. We're in. It's like I'm going into a book. Who's no, wait, no, we're stopping. I certainly hope we find out what the wonderful thing about Tiggers is today. Oh, Wednesday. That's a funny pun. Oh, dear. Where's Mr. Toad? Turning the deed over to Owl. This ride used to be where Mr. Toad was. He didn't actually help. Oh my goodness. Look at this piglet. The carousel is still under scrim. But I think we are all done here for today. I don't think so. Somebody's getting a cat when they turn 10. But we're headed through the castle because this is one of the not so rare moments. It happens every day, but it seems like every time I try to walk through, it's closed off. But it's open today. In case anybody was wondering, this is where the check in for Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique is underneath the castle. I do like this because it gets you so close to the castle. Oh, it feels like we're in a parade right now. At a magical celebration in the streets, our Disney Festival of Fantasy Parade. But first, please welcome our honorary Grand Marshal, the Knightsville and McCarthy families from Beverly, Massachusetts. I have never heard that announcement before. I'm sort of back by the back entrance to Casey's. You can see the castle through there. Didn't there used to be a fountain here? 
There's no fountain there anymore. I know that I didn't mention Millennial Pink anytime soon, but they do have the Millennial Pink uh, spirit jerseys and the ears here in the Emporium. It is $60. Wanted to give you guys a look at the difference between the rose gold spirit jersey and the Millennial Pink spirit jersey. Kind of just a little bit of a different color. Well, it seems like they learned their lesson with the rose gold ears and they ordered a whole bunch of these Millennial Pink ones right off the bat. You heard it here first, purple uh, mini ears are the next trend. Bye Chippendale. Happy birthday. So there you have it. That was our trip to the Magic Kingdom, just for the fun of it. Why not? I had a great time, got to ride three rides, and they were all fantastic. Uh, I do, I really am interested to find out what your answer is to the ride that you either you were scared of, or a ride that you didn't think your kids were gonna be scared of that they are. And so with that being said, we are off, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm Cody from the Disney Kremlins. Check us out on YouTube, and now it's time to pay the price.